I speak unto thee this day, and I say there are those who claim they love me, yet I say they steadfastly refuse identity with me. For I say when I give unto them the opportunity to gain identity in me, they stubbornly proudly defy me and refuse the same. Yet I say the funny thing is they claim they love me. But I say they do not love me at all, they simply love the idea that they love me. But I say it is not true, for I say that their hearts are far from me. Now I say you are living in times when many will live defeated lives because of what it is that they choose to identify with. That is, they will identify with the world, with the ugliness, the vileness, the wickedness of the saints. And I say they will identify with wicked men, evil women, and think somehow they are all right with me. But I say when any will truly be mine, then I say their identity will be with me and in the true ones that I keep as my own. For I say that I do not call my people to be overwhelmed, defeated by the world, but I say that I call them to be identified with me. And I say that the truth of it is I have overcome the world. Now I say there are those who make the assumption that they know all there is to know about me. But I say that the truth of it is I am the endless God. And I say there are endless realms of me that men do not perceive nor do they receive. And I say it is because they shut themselves off from me. I say this day do not absolutely do not be quick to shut yourselves off from me, but I say be quick to be accepting of my way. That is, to be uplifted, guided forth, and directed in the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, you are meant to look to. It is me, the living God, you are meant to believe in, to trust and obey. And it is me you are meant to follow after, for I am the one who is the way of newness of life. And I say when you are indeed serving me, loving me, and being ever guided in me, then I say you can give thanks unto me, that you are indeed uplifted, brought forth, and ever guided in my way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not find pleasure in the people who turn back from me, who give up on me, to do what it is that they think they want in this life. For I say they are short-sighted, they are dull, they are dumb, they are stupid. For I say they go after their idols and abandon me. And I say in so choosing they are the ones who are losing. And I say that they will receive the reward of the losing spirit they have chosen to obey. And I say they will be beaten down and trodden because they have chosen that path. But I say that the ones who keep on following me, walking uprightly in me, I say they will know victory in their lives. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give unto them the strength to overcome the world. That is, in the sense that they will not be overwhelmed, devoured, and destroyed. But I say they will continue steadfast in me. And I say through me they will have victory and be ever purposed in the truth and the light, the hope that I provide. Now I say this day when you look upon what it is that I've set before thee, I say it is the way of eternal life. And I say if you keep your vision single that is unto me, then I say you are guided in my way. And yes, you are given the strength, the mercy, the truth, and the hope each and every day. For I say that I, the living God, absolutely will not withhold any good thing from the ones who will walk uprightly in me. But I say that I will give unto them such as they need to be guided forth, directed, and corrected in my way. Now I say this day counted a privilege to keep on loving, to keep on serving, to keep on following me. And I say counted a privilege to be directed in that which I give you day by day. For I say it is me, the living God, who gives to you the light, the truth, the mercy, and the hope of who I am. And it is me, the living God, who does guide you forth in that which is newness of life as you keep your focus upon me. For I say it is a privilege to be guided forth, to be directed, corrected, and instructed in the way that will cause you to overcome the obstacles, to overcome the opposition, to overcome the world and the darkness therein. For I say you are not meant to be ruled by the demons that rule this world, you are meant to be ruled by me. And I say you are meant to be made glad, ever thankful that it is me you can look to and trust. For I say it is me, the living God, who guides you in the way of eternal life, 
as you keep your vision, your focus stayed upon me. Now I say there were multitudes in these wicked times, they go whoring, they estrange themselves, they follow a multitude of gods. Then I say they imagine somehow they will be found acceptable unto me. But I say they are not acceptable because they are not accepting my rule over them, nor are they accepting identity with me. I say this day be glad for the privilege that I give you to walk uprightly, be glad for the privilege that I've given unto you to be thy force by me. And I say when you walk in the way that is truth and light and mercy revealed, then I say you are uplifted in me. And yes, you are given the strength and the mercy, the hope and the peace and the safety day by day. For I say it is me, the living God, who guides you forth that you can find your identity in me. Now I say this day when you look at the hideously stupid, dull, dumb, and dark things that men choose to identify with, what are they? I say they are stupidity and darkness because they follow idols. And I say they are dumb because they do not see what it is that they need to do. But I say they simply do as the demons command them, and they are made dull in the same. I say this day do not be as the dull, the dumb, the stupid, the corrupt, who will simply obey the voices of demons rather than me. For I say they are quick to obey the things that destroy them, while they refuse obedience unto life. I say this day be thankful that you can indeed keep following, obeying, and walking in me. That you can come forth victorious as you walk in the way that I give for thee. For I say it is a privilege to walk in my way, to be uplifted and strengthened, and ever guided in life. And I say it is a privilege to be shown that I am the one who will renew you day by day. That is, in the strength, the truth, the power, the glory of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the life intended for thee. Now I say this day, be glad that I give to you exactly what you need, that I guide you forth and direct you each day. And I say, be glad that I give to you the light upon the path, that you can be found ever thankful unto me. For I say, when you serve me in the attitude of gratitude, then I say you are given the hope and the strength day by day. And I say, when you serve me in the attitude of gratitude, then you are given the blessedness that can only be found through me. Now I say it is a privilege to keep on loving, to keep on serving, to keep on following after. And I say it is a privilege to be ever guided in that which I give you day by day. For I say that I will give unto you the light, the truth, and the mercy revealed. And I say that I will give unto you the hope, the peace, the strength, the safety of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who is newness of life. It is me, the living God, who is the truth provided. It is me, the living God, who is the hope given to those who remain in me. For I say you are not meant to be found under wrath, fury, and indignation revealed, as so many are. For I say there are those who have chosen the way of identity with the world while they claim they are loving me. But I say they are whores at heart, for their allegiance is not to me, but I say it is to the world. And I say that very same world will overcome them, destroy them, and they will be devoured. For I say it is me, the living God, who is in these times turning men and women over to the things they have loved more than me. And I say, when you see them in their idolatry, when you see them in their abominations, when you see them in their whoredoms for the things they have chosen to serve, know that the lordship of those things will be made manifest in their lives. And I say that they will be overwhelmed by the very things they have chosen above me, and they will be defeated by the same. But I say to the ones who continue steadfastly to obey me, to follow me, and repent before me when they are showed their wrongs, I say they are able to overcome. And I say that they will be brought forth in the victorious way that is my life. I say this day be glad that you do not need to serve a multitude of masters, that is, bowing to many gods. For I say when men will be serving many masters, they are bowing to confusion, delusion, and they will go mad in the same. For I say it is me, the living God, who will guide you forth by a plain path and direct your steps. And it is me, the living God, who will instruct you in the way of my righteousness revealed. Now I say this day be glad to continue trusting, believing, and looking to me as the one who is able. And I say, be thankful that I will purpose you, that you can be brought forth in my way. And I say, be made glad each day that you are given the truth and the light, 
the mercy and the hope of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, you are meant to keep serving all of your days. I say this day that I, the living God, know there are endless multitudes who think they are found agreeable and acceptable unto me, but I say they will not resist temptation to sin, nor will they resist the deviation of the world, but I say they simply follow the same. Then they claim it is me that they serve, they serve lies. For I say they are serving a Jesus of their own invention, it certainly is not me. For I say that I am the God of righteousness revealed, and those who will be mine will walk in the same. And I say that the ones who want the way of their own understanding, their own filthy corruptions, I say they go in the way of fools. I say this day, why would you want to imitate, to emulate the world, and take on the trappings of the same? when you could indeed be identified with me. Now I say if you consider how short the span of this world, I say it is here and then it is gone. That is, in the sense of the things that men will give their lives to follow and obey. But I say if you consider the span that I offer that is eternal life, there is no end to the same. And I say the wise man will choose his identity with me. I say thank me and praise me that you do not need to fall down in oblation to the darkness, the evil, the iniquity of these times. Nor do you need to choose identity with fools. But I say that you can indeed be identified with me and know the victory that I give thee as you will choose to walk in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is truth and might, strength and hope and peace provided. Therefore I say, becoming forth, uplifted, directed, and ever guided by me. And I say, be made glad that I give you the truth and the light, the mercy revealed day by day. And I say, be made glad that I purpose you, that you can indeed be strengthened in me. For it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of all mercy and hope, and the way that is peace to those who walk uprightly in me. But I say to the disobedient, the wayward, the careless, the proud, the defiant, I say they will know my wrath revealed. For I say it is a time that I am at war with those who have rejected me. And I say when a man rejects identity with me, he is rejecting me. I say he may speak sweet words, he may say, Lord, Lord, but I say that his heart is far from me. And I say that I have no joy in such ones. I say this day be thankful that you can continue steadfastly to obey, to walk in my way, and be ever guided in the truth and the light, the mercy that I reveal.